We're in sync now. Oh my god. Oh my god. There is no guilt. Oh it's god. like a period. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? I just made me laugh. <laughs> in um company chat. <laughs> <laughs> there is no guilt in bossing. I'm in bossing. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is, that is a thing of beauty. Absolutely. You got fingered by Walt. Glad you like it. Yeah. <sighs> oh god, my feet hurt. My... Your, your teeth hurt? My feet hurt. No. Oh. Mm, but also, how do your teeth feel? Too, but... I mean, I'm on painkillers, so I'm fine. I'm oh. getting my oh, right. tomorrow. Yeah, get my x-ray tomorrow, so we're fine. Hey. hey! Yeah! Progression. Oh, did you dentist? Oh, sorry? Did you dentist? I did dentist. Ouch. Well, I'm going I... well. Well, I've not, I've not, I'm starting my dentisting tomorrow. So. Ah, right. So, it's going to be ouch. I'm going to make it ouch. Should I'm supposed to, to get my teeth checked mm -hmm. out. Tuesday, but in order to do that, I'd have to miss all of work, and I just started a new schedule where I'm already yeah. missing some work, so I'm just gonna reschedule it. Unfortunately, yeah. deal with yeah. the pain longer. Um, can you not get like painkillers or something in the meantime? Or no, I have painkillers, but I just I someone re like really closely related to me got addicted to painkillers. Oh yeah, and like okay. it wasn't okay. over the counter yeah. stuff, but I'm painful. still I still don't like taking meds as often as I have to now because of it. Yeah, because otherwise yeah. it's just a constant pain, right? Which is not <clears throat> mm -hmm. no, not, not good. good. No, no. So I'm I'm just wary. I want to get this dealt with, but also work. yeah, money's nice. Yeah, <laughs> not just money, but like I don't want to take too much time off because it it doesn't look good. No, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, because I'm getting a bit iffy, like, with having to take time. Because I'm have to take time off when I get the actual tooth extracted, and I'm just like, ha yay! And I'm sort of, like, edging around that as well. Ugh. I don't think Ooh. my boss would mind, but I do now, so... Yeah, well, I mean, like you said, it can look a bit if, I guess, if you're constantly off. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Me sweats nervously. I've been sick for two and a half years now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair though, because that <laughs> sickness yeah. is not, yeah. not just like school. <laughs> You're, like, like, you yeah, hurt yeah. your brain, Fred. Like, I feel like that's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> that's you're allowed to recover when you hurt your brain, Fred. Yeah, oh, thank it's okay. God. I'm sure they'll forgive <laughs> you. You have permission from the women. Mm -hmm. We support you. Well, let, me, let me just yep. uh, message my boss real quick and tell them I have permission. Yeah, good. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were gonna say, "Let me just tell my wife." <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell my wife that my my girl D and D friends support my brain injury recovery. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> oh, fun times. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at Fabian over here, and all I see is a uh, purple Django foot. Purple yeah, no, his helmet is definitely like that style. Mm -hmm. What is this? Boy in the bottom uh, right. In the bottom right. But, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, Django foot? Django foot, Boba foot. Oh, Boba foot. Okay, I see. Yeah, I see. I see Just the. Yeah, Mandalorian I see Boba foot. Yeah, I'm getting the. Yeah, I'm getting Mandalorian vibes. Mm. Oh. Ugh, my mouth is so hot. I think I'm fucking god. Ugh. Watch this, it's like 80 Last degrees. night, when oh. I woke up at four in the morning, all the windows were still open in the house. They've got like screens, but mm -hmm. they were still open for air circulation oh, and cool. such. Mm -hmm. And fuck off. <laughs> like, fuck off. <laughs> hmm. And it was. Story. It was really cold. Um. And I was absolutely delighted because that means that uh, winter is coming, and I'm so excited yeah. for it. I don't know. I swear to God, yeah. And I'm so, so ready for thing. snow. Oh. I want snow so bad. I'm ignoring you two. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I don't know. You too. Just... I didn't say anything. <laughs> you, you breathe out of your nose harder. <laughs> it's not enough. I could put about anything. Uh huh. Anything. Mm -hmm. oh. Anything. Anything. Hmm? I fucking hate typing. Oh, yeah, hold on there. What'd you fuck up this time? Your mom. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh my god. I swear. I'm back. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. I'm back. We all here? Mm hmm. You're. Sounds like it. We have a bonus O. Nice. What's the bonus movie? <laughs> Bonus. He's probably listening in while he watches it. Hmm. This is like one ear. Or his family's yeah. watching it and he doesn't care and he'll listen to us. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Is hey, physically Kirsha, he's there, but mentally. Mm -hmm. All right. Jesus, fuck off. So let's get into it, shall we? Uh, let me. We shall. Clean up people that would be around um would you guys ask ajax and lizzie to come along yeah i think okay. so. yeah okay. especially since they uh, seem to be uh, be in good with amber mm. okay good because amber was gonna invite them along whether or not you guys gave <laughs> that they gave them permission or not um uh iverson would you guys invite iverson he did not come with you guys to either of your escapades in town mm -hmm. He just wants to stay in the mid roll. And he doesn't really what is... know what is properly happening with this place. Well, I guess neither mm -hmm. is Lizzie. Yeah, was he I around during the explanation in the mid roll? Then... Uh, I think. Uh, I think Alexander. He was gonna. He stayed at the mid roll, but mm -hmm. when you guys arrived back in the mid roll, he was gone. Mm -hmm. Is he easy <clears> enough <throat> to find him? <laughs> Sorry, what's uh. Up? Nothing apparently. I mean, you guys can just ask around because he's rather distinct, right? Yeah. I think offering him a, if he's because I remember he resolved to do something about it this time, one way or another. This is no, that's I. That's no, I'm not I'm talking about Iverson. Not you're enough. Oh, Iverson. Okay, yeah, I yeah. understood. Uh, so you're not for sure coming with us, yeah? Iverson. Um, it'd be valuable, but we might want to. Well, it's well, a question of if he's fucked in the head, in 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 Yurnoff's words. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So if, if we could somehow prove beyond a shadow of doubt to him through the fucked up head thing, then we should probably bring him in on the whole thing. But I don't think we have any evidence for that right now. And he'd probably be like, I, yeah, I don't, you guys are now. He's, he's, he's not a local. He's not some like uh, frontiersman bumpkin that uh, is. Can you imagine if Yurnoff was like gaslighting you guys the whole time? <laughs> that would be, pretty, that'd that'd be, be pretty so. Good. That'd be so he funny. He is a vampire. <laughs> that would be, oh my god! Would be I just believe. Yeah, no. Be uh, spawn. Yeah. Uh, Alessandro's gonna go. Gonna go find Iverson. Whoever wants to come along can. Come. Yeah, we'll come. Uh, we ask around. He's prepared to stink. And where do we find him? At the banner hose post. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, the post itself <laughs> is not terribly large. It's quite queer. It can only really house a handful of people in its cells at a time. Mm -hmm. um, he's not the only bounty hunter affiliate in, in there as you guys are walking in. He's just sort of sat upon the front lounge space next to a fireplace that is not active currently. Just sort of reading the same book that you guys saw him reading when you guys first met him. Uh, you guys are greeted uh, by a rather chipper chipper young lad. Uh, but you know, you guys ask around, like, oh hey, where's Iverson? And he's like, oh, he's right over there around the corner. And... Is right behind us. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a like my question. I'm not gonna belabor on it, but my question is how. What do you guys say when you invite him? Because uh... obviously, as you guys were just discussing, going with the town is cursed by vampires and you're under <laughs> some mental conditioning or some <laughs> shit might not be. <laughs> uh, what does what what Peter say in Family Guy? Who starts a conversation like that? <laughs> uh... How long yeah. has he been here? Uh, I believe his account was a month. A month. Uh, uh, also, I was I saw this meme on the 
on the toilet, so... There you go. Hey. Oh, wait, my, my bad, my bad. That's the, <laughs> that's the music I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Well, not really me, but it's more of how cool Keanu Reeves yeah. is. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen that yes. one. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's my brother. <laughs> uh, Alessandra will word it up. Uh, got some kind of urgent that we need to clue you in on. Oh, yeah? Something involved in this town. He corks an eyebrow at that. Alright, color me intrigued. What's up? Might come with us to our camp. Sure. Thank you. As you guys are leaving, he shouts. <laughs> he shouts at the aide. <laughs> Remember their faces. If I disappear, it's their fault. I I was literally just about to, yeah. Oh, Alexander no. gets his hat back and, and makes sure that the <laughs> young kid gets a good look at his face. <laughs> it's Among Us rules, or it's just like uh, I, he was last seen with blank. <laughs> yeah. just... No, um, guys, it was the vampires. <laughs> the vampires did it. I was in engineering. I was in engineering. <laughs> I was it was blue vampire. Come on. Alfred told me to do electrical. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a vent! I saw a vent! Yeah. Anyway, so, you guys uh, regroup at the encampment. I'm clapping because I am trying to appeal to the younger generation right now. No, okay. um, <laughs> I'm appealed to. As the youngest in the call. Where are my keys? I'll jingle while I'm talking to and I'll put the... Uh... <laughs> Oh shit, guys, Anyways. he's got keys! Oh my god! And I'll put the rail, like, the subway runner thing on the bottom. Oh Anyways, god. Uh, we go, I can upload gifts to, to, to Roll20, as always uh, proven. And mm -hmm. Watch game. Anyways, so you guys uh, regroup at your guys' encampment, which is, you know, uh, I believe it was a mile and a half or so out of town. It is uh, not just sat upon a hill in the open, it is tucked amidst the forestry south of town. So you are not immediately visible, and there are definitely a uh, a lot of benefits to that. Um, you guys aren't tucked so deep in the tree line that the town is uh, shrouded, obfuscated from your vision. But, you know, that goes the other way that your tank would not fully, fully block from their vision either. That being said, you guys have trees around you. You guys can make your own cover and stuff like that. The town has walls and such that it utilizes. So, uh, it's, I see you, you see me sort of visibility. Mm -hmm. um, the place is pretty well set up. Some uh, not full on palisades have been made, but uh, half approximations thereof, uh, which have been shored up with assorted stones and stuff like that. Uh, it's quite clear that they've been hard at work. Um, to those of you that were that went to um, Lyco's trial, so basically all of you except Alexander, um, it is reminiscent of that same uh, defensive. Uh, aesthetic design so someone here whoever was in charge of, the, of making all this shit uh was around when you guys were at like trial and is using redain same methodology for lack of a better word um as you guys get back the survey team is a few minutes following you guys nice so you guys are all regrouped in relatively immediate uh span of one another uh Good time. head count what's that fred Good timing. Good timing. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, is anyone uh, not accounted for? Nope. You guys are all here, plus some spares. All right. Uh, everyone, get yourselves comfortable. We uh, have a lot to discuss. Uh, he'll gesture to the uh, the the people we brought from town. Introduce them one by one. Uh, and this is Yuronov. He's a local of this town. How long you been living here in Valstad? You know, since the beginning. Since the beginning, so you know the ins and outs of this place like the back of your hand, I'd wager. He's looking down at the ground and looking up, almost like this like kicked dog sort of expression. Mm. And he just nods once. Yeah, uh, you don't need an insight roll to tell. Yeah, I know the ins and outs of this town. <laughs> Probably too much so. Yeah. Well, you know, if he had a. Uh... Some very grim news about a, dare I say, new home. <laughs> or at least our most recent one. Evidently, every farmer's market, some ill fate befalls the town and the people therein. 
uh, pointing to uh, a Ajax, uh, or gesturing to Ajax, uh, Lizzie, and uh, Iverson. How long you three been here in town? Iverson, I believe you said a month, right? But what about you two? Um, I don't know. Uh, she looks at Ajax. Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, to Iverson, when was the last uh, farmer's market? Uh, probably happened a bit after I got here. Mm, I don't know. So a few weeks ago? A couple yeah. few weeks ago, something like that. Well, evidently, going to urine off here, every farmer's market, and how long has this been going on, you know? As long as I can remember. As long as he can remember. Every farmer's market, the moon, I presume, turns red. Elsewise, why would you call it a blood moon? He nods once. People that are caught in the red light of this moon seem to have tricks played on their minds. And the events that happen beneath that moonlight are fuzzy in their mind. They don't recall it as it happened. I can only assume that those that capitalize on the spoon line are the ones that are the cause of it. Namely, vampires. Or at least creatures akin to vampires that descend on the town and pluck one of the residents. The following morning, their name, their face is a mystery to the people that they once lived with. Their fellow townsfolk. We saw evidence of this already, and we've not even been here a day. Young boy was uh, kind of following us, pointing places out to us. We got to a home that, for a moment, he recalled one of his friends living in. Only, he stopped short, as if forgetting something. Forgetting which friend of his lived there. He couldn't say. Just got quiet. At the time, we just likened it to the uh, quirk in childhood. We all are familiar, I would assume. But given what you and told us, I think there's a new context there. Additionally, people that investigate these disappearances <clears throat> tend to disappear themselves in some capacity. Not during the blood moon mind you but in the interim perhaps there is someone here in town that is working with the kidnappers for the kidnappers or out of fear house. of the kidnappers cleaning house you say I think that's quite accurate So oh. herein lies the problem and why it concerns us. We are in town. And we're going to be staying in town. And there is a farmer's market coming in how soon? You know? Three days. Three days time. Now we only just got here and three days time is... Well, that is a short amount of time to pack up and leave so soon. Which is why we're going to stop it. We've stopped worse things. I see no reason why we should balk at the prospect of this. What's your guys' passive perceptions? Mm -hmm. 20, 25. 17. As you guys... With the exception of Sajar, sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are describing all of this, you guys can see Iverson just sort of get this sort of glassy look over his eyes. And he begins like blinking a couple of times, furrowing his brow, focusing and shaking it off. Eventually the glassiness leaves his vision. But he does look mm, strained. Like it's taking You're effort right. to hear. Mm hmm. You're right there, Shifter. 
I'm trying to remember the farmer's market that happened when I got to town. But you can't. I remember it. I don't remember any red glow about it, though. Or vampires, or anything of the like. But... And do you disbelieve me? I don't. My memories of it are... Well... All the people I'm remembering seeing and talking to are... Vague. There lies a little bit of, bit of evidence there. Credence to your enough tale. Poor soul here was ostracized by the people that he grew up with. The people he once called neighbor. Because he wasn't afraid to tell him the truth. Unfortunate. You have my sympathies, son. You sort of... How to say... He cringes, basically. Yeah. Like... I don't want to be right. Like, the merit of being right is not it's, it's not what I want. It's not satisfying. But regardless, it changes now. For, for the good of those that have gone missing, for the good of those that will continue to call this town home, us included, we need to stop it. I mean, after all, these vampires, if they truly are such, are squatting at our home. And we have a God-given mission to evict them. Well said. Mm-hmm. So, first order of business should be delegating who amongst us has the capability of Overcoming this moon's glow. Keeping our minds intact so that we may fully remember and keep our faculties in check. Question. Who's holding Varric's visor or the mask that he gave over? Do uh, think that summons him? I want to say Silas? Is that right? Um, I. Morgan? Don't... I was thinking yeah, Morgan. Morgan, but... Morgan yes. Yeah. And I don't think we ever discussed it being moved. Then so, Morgan, yeah. Okay, yeah, then Morgan, think, yeah. you would hear in your head Varric's voice. What's the situation? Oh, things over there. Perfect. So it into well. It's not ascending. There's too many words for it to be ascending. Right. But it's you're not sure how like having the conversation. It like, is well, you're not sure how long it works, right? You don't know like right. how the communication of this. It might just be like one message back, like ascending without a word count. It might be thirty second. You don't know. Yeah, it's a time thing, not a word thing. Um, actually, that would make sense. Anyways, uh, yeah, she she'd respond with, uh, it could be a lot better. We discovered roughly what's going on here, and it's not good. Um, this seems to be that the keep is, in a way, phasing in and out of reality, and when it comes in, it brings a horde of vampires that want to eat people. And the people in the town seem to not remember what's happening. So not great, to say the least. Uh, Silence. <laughs> he does not respond. Yep. Either because he can't, or it's just that stunning in a shout to suddenly hear. <laughs> I feel like I feel I mean, like stunning fair. wouldn't be something that would stop Varric most of the time. I mean, he, so. he was basically hot dropped into the void as like an astral projection kind of thing, and he's like, I'm still gonna stab the dude. <laughs> <laughs> Varric certainly has a simplicity hot of purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's hot drop. <laughs> Just like someone like, here. Oh, that's, that's, that's the, that's the <laughs> sit rep you give him. Roger that. Never much. Um, but yeah, going up. going to um, back to Alessander's question to the, to the, the company. Mm hmm. Um, there's going to be a good amount of back and forth, and at the end of the day, Tenko, your guys' votes are the ones that hold the most sway. Mm -hmm. The But something that Violet would bring up, we don't exactly know how this works. We would need samples, uh, an idea of what we're working with, or against. 
Exactly. Well, at the very least, we do have one potential sample in the form of Mr. Iverson here. He, like, shifts uncomfortably at being referred to as an example. <laughs> the puts up, like, hit of hands seeing that, and he says, uh, uh, assuming, of course, you are open to it. I'm open to it. I just don't like being called that. Can, can I yeah, do a quick there. insight to see if it's from just generally being subjected to being a thing, not a person, or if he's been experimented on in the past? We're on time. I can do that. Guidance. Insight. Don't suck. I don't like that number. Oh my god. <laughs> I <laughs> will suck, take I a fucking shit number, I guess. I... 16. Whoa! Oh! Ah! It's it, it's it. <laughs> B-roll. Nah, B-roll. Nah, nah, <laughs> right. That's a pretty oh, low bar. That's pretty yeah. low bar. I will take a 17 plus 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would we have had a short rest at any point? His shape shifting not no, not not okay. by this point. His ability to shape shift isn't exactly isn't exactly something instilled upon him, but it's not exactly something solely otherworldly. Right? How to put this? Magic will change his appearance, he can change the texture. Hmm. So if you were to put your hand to his face, you won't feel an illusion. You'll feel what's there. It just what it looks like underneath the illusion. You might not want to know. He's a slime. He's a slime. <laughs> He's a doppel <laughs> Another doppel one. Oh my god. Don't worry, I'm a we're slime like, god ally. God damn it! Not more. And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so th there's your insights. Yeah. Uh, not fond of the. The term designation of uh, what I call him specimen. Specimen. Uh, re regardless, Alexander says, uh, "I meant no disrespect by it. You are simply someone that has been subjected to this, and there is value in that." There's a shake, like a dismissive wave of the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as these experiments aren't too intrusive, I'm game. <laughs> they won't be. Looks like Violet, right? <laughs> <laughs> They won't be looks of violent. Would you rather have a comforting lie or the truth? Uh, the truth. I don't know yet. Fair. Well, Iverson, if you are open to it, then I will have you work with Violet here and whoever thinks that they can assist. All us who sat next to Violet on this like log bench that got made <laughs> at the center of camp. Just Scoots a little bit closer to Violet. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> say anything, she just... <laughs> He's just just to the two of them together then. There you go then. You two are partners on this project. Let's see, who the else can knows. assist with it? If only Oscar were a seeker, not a slayer. Mm -hmm. Not Delvet's category. Uh, Delvet has a little bit of insight, but it depends. Yeah. And this would probably get something, like, as you guys are discussing, who else should or can assist. Mm-hmm. It would depend on what's actually causing it. If it's just magic, I, there's a number of us that know the ways of magic, how it works. But if it's something more Spiritual. embedded, something more... He grimaces as he has to say it, visceral. Um, I'm not a surgeon or anything. But regardless, if it ain't magic... And we have people that do know magic. To confirm that it's not magic, that narrows it down. We can't figure out what it is. Find what it help not. to find out what it isn't. I can help. Altani holds up her hand. How? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, Zol would probably... My bad, Zol would probably be in his full kit. Uh, check out the new Zol token. Oh, 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 yeah, you guys can hear. Zol has like a, some Pretty cold slight. capabilities now, because uh, that was his pursuant reverie. Uh, he also has the quotes of grenades now, so that's pretty fun. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking game of frag. He, he literally grabs a rock, puts a cold, like a frost rod, and yeets it. So I, that's sort of a grenade, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love that. yeah. You guys Every saw something I similar. You guys saw something similar with Boomer back in like session three. So. Oh hell yeah! yeah. Although Boomer didn't use runes, he but he did something similar though. So there's a precedent there. Anyways, um, so as like you asked, like Altai is like, I can help. How? It's all just goes. He just scoffs under his visor. 
<laughs> no. Hey! In all Tony's defense, I helped with the. I helped with the tree. This is the tree. Okay. All right. All right. What? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. The magic tree. <laughs> he looks at Vincent. Vincent nods. Got a. Well, saw the sky, but uh, between uh, Delvet, uh, got a good insight on the tree. Talking about uh, you know, life energy or whatever. Looks at little tiny like explain it. And she just shrugs like mm? she's like I don't know how this shit works. I just I just use it. Yeah, she's full more, more <laughs> observant than she properly knows. It's quite useful in pass actually. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm then I'll tell you if you think you can help on this project, I won't stop you. That's yay. Said, mm -hmm. If it oh. is something anatomical, <laughs> no, no, you're good. Uh,